Hey everybody, Mark Spencer here. I've just released an update to my advanced color correction in Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial in order to include more information about the new HSL color masking feature that was introduced in the 10.4.7 update to Final Cut Pro. It's a really significant new feature. You're going to want to check it out. There's a link below to the tutorial as well as a code so you can get 40% off for a limited time. In today's episode of MacBreak Studio, I'm going to show you how you can achieve the ever popular orange and teal look that you see in so many films and TV shows. The reason this look is so popular is because it builds on the basics of color theory and visual perception in order to separate skin tones from the background. Check it out and let us know what you think. We'll work with this shot to see if we can pull the subject out of the background. The waveform shows good dynamic range, although there's nothing very dark in the shot. And the color balance looks a little off with raised greens and blues. The vector scope indicates decent saturation with traces right along the skin tone line. I'll add a color wheels correction to bring the shadow brightness down a bit and try to balance the colors by using the master wheel to push toward red, watching the RGB parade for good overall balance, but keeping the vector scope traces on the skin tone line and maybe just a little boost to overall saturation. Let's toggle that correction with option C. Okay, with a basic correction in place, we can now add a curves correction with option E. There's a lot of red channel in the skin tones, so I'll add red to the midtones and highlights. The complementary color to red is cyan, so if I pull red out of the shadows, I'll be adding cyan, creating more contrast between the shadows and highlights due to the color difference. On the vector scope, I can see I'm pushing off the skin tone line. So, in the blue channel curve, I'll pull down a little in the highlights to correct for that. And raise the shadows a tiny bit to push more towards cyan blue. These changes have affected the luminance, so I'll adjust the contrast with the luma curve. And let's toggle that correction with option C. Notice in the vector scope how we've pushed the traces along the skin tone line with increased saturation in opposite directions. This is the essence of the teal and orange look, creating maximum color separation between the subject and the background. Now I want to make more targeted corrections to the skin tones, so I'll add a hue sat curves correction. I want to increase the saturation of the skin tones, so I'll sample them with a hue versus sat curve, then raise the center control point, and play with the range of the lock points. If I now move to the hue versus luma curve and sample the skin tones again, I can reduce the highlights, which brings more detail to the skin. A little goes a long way here. I can see in the vector scope that I've moved some of the highly saturated traces off the skin tone line. So I'll use the hue versus hue curve to sample the skin tones and shift them back towards the line. Let's now move to the luma versus sat curve and set points so that we can pull our color cast out of the deepest shadows and the brightest highlights. If I toggle that correction with option C, we can see how much cool shade we've added to the shirt color and warm tones to the skin. Now the talent's lips are too saturated, so let's use the sat versus sat curve to bring down the saturation of just the most saturated portions of the shot and that fixes his lips nicely. I'd like to push the foliage further into the background. Since it has a different range of hues than the skin tones, I can use the same hue versus sat curve to sample the plants and reduce their saturation. And I'll do the same in the hue versus luma curve to make them a little darker. Another option would be to use color wheels with a color mask to target the foliage. If we toggle this correction with option C, we can see in the vector scope how we push the traces even more along the skin tone line in opposite directions. 